Hello and welcome to stage 6 of the Formula 1 Austrian Grand Prix. This starts to get a lot more difficult. I still have a base car, I've done nothing to it. And so with this one, we're starting with cold tires. And this one's been taking me a while already. There's someone on my bumper immediately, you'll see him right there. Now don't worry about him, you gotta get on the brakes early so you don't go sliding off in this corner. And then get on the brakes early here, but you can get an overtake in. So get on the brakes early and then into the gas early. And already the tires are going to be at about 50% as we near corner one, which still isn't enough to take it normally. So we just got to watch it, but this isn't actually that hard of a stage. You just have to pace yourself. So that's what I found is that you got to pace this first lap so that, well, lap and a third, I guess it is, so that you're not really far behind. Taking it easy here, trying not to let these guys overtake you again. Like I'm about to hit 100% here. So these tires were heating up very quickly. So now I can just go for it. And uh, again, I mean, he's catching, these are fast bots now, that threw me off. So I'm way off track there. Um, but not much of a difficult stage if you know the track. So you'll see this now, I'll start to gain very quickly on these guys. Because of course, these guys are deeper in the pack. These aren't really fast bots, but this is getting harder. This is later in the event, so these bots are now getting quite difficult. But you know, they're gonna overbreak in a few sections here. Like, look at that, I didn't touch him. Nice clean pass. Um, see, I might have to pass him on the inside here. I think I'm gonna try to set that up. Let's see if I can pull that off. There we go. Now that was an off-track pass. I definitely cut that corner too much. Uh, that's the reason why I got all loose as well, is because I was totally off track there. So, you could go off track on this corner too if you have to. In fact, I think I just did. You could cut it more aggressively than that, but you don't really gain that much because you've got to be so careful on the throttle because it's like uh, such a sharp corner. So it's, uh, for the most part on this track, it's really not to your advantage to go off track. Although once in a while you might do it just to get a little advantage. And so here we see here, not much of a problem. You know, I made a few mistakes on this particular run and I'm still in 12th place and that's all that's required. So that's all that I have to do. And that's good because 11th place is really off there in the distance. Oops, off track again. So not that difficult of a stage with all these mistakes. And there we go. That's a nice stage. Just takes a while to work out the timing a little bit and how to handle those first few corners. Now, in this next one, we've got to move up further. They make it sound like it's a multi-goal stage. It's really not, because you have to pass four cars if you're going to get into the next position that they require, to position eight. So it's really a non-issue. They could have just said, get an eighth place. I really don't know why that's being phrased this way, but don't worry about it. Passing four cars just happens as you get up to eighth place. So this one, you got to push it. Um, yeah, this starts to get a little bit more difficult, but as, as the uh, storyline said, there's a bit of traffic going on here mid-pack, a bit of a battle, so it's not too difficult to catch up here. Like already, look at that, no trouble at all. I didn't try to take overtake him there because I knew he was going to start to drive away on me. It was better for me just to catch some draft. And uh, I gave him a little bit of a bump there, but that's not a big deal. And there we go, there's a little bump pass on the side there, shoving him out of my way. That's not horrible. I don't think that would have been a black flag. Um, anyhow, in this game, it's not. Now, I did not optimize my drive out of that corner, the exit. But I'm in 10th place already. 9th place is right there. I will get him in this next section. It's a wonderful place to get them. Oh, gonna have to get on the brakes a little bit more. Oh, look at that. He had a... That's nice. I like that. There's been... There was a change to bot pr programming a few updates ago where they're gonna... They give you the line more often. There was for a long time, they would just slam you out of the line. Like, oh my goodness, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, well, I should be able to recover from that. I still have two laps to go. Um, yes, I should be able to recover from that. For quite a while there, uh, if you were heading into, like let's say you were exiting a corner on the outside of a bot and there was a wall, they would just throw you into the wall. So I really like that the programming changed a while ago. That makes this a lot more realistic because for the, for the longest time, it was us who had to give everything. If we didn't give away a race line, it was just going to be a crash. And that's just not real racing. 
in real racing, sometimes the opponent decides, I'm not taking this to the wall, and they'll get out of it, or they'll, they'll give you the race line. So that's been a great addition to Real Racing 3. And this section here, I love this section. Sometimes I go flying off track here because I push it too far. And this section right here as well, you can really take this one with a lot of aggression in this car. Now, I don't know what this car is like after getting more tuning. Again, I'm going to stay behind him because I know I can't overtake him on this section because uh, top speed is my weakness in this car. Drive out of the corner is my strength. Oh, and I went off track. Oops. Okay. Well, that's a black flag, I'm sure. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to tuck in behind him and catch draft going up to this section here. But it worked. Um, I'll take it. I'm fine with it. Not a big deal. I could have restarted the stage and done it cleanly, but I don't want to. And I'm sure you know that we do stuff like that in this game sometimes. I'm not trying to do everything by the book. My main goal here is to try to get ahead without spending currency and just to see how far I can get. So there we go. I've met the requirements. As you can see, getting to eighth place gave me four overtakes. There wasn't any other way to do this. And I certainly don't need to get into seventh, although that would have been possible if I was nice and clean, but there's just no reason for it other than earning a little more currency. I'm not really worried about that, though. I'm going to earn my maximum currency pretty soon, I think. There we go. Nice race. All right, banking that driver XP that I've not spent yet. And getting on to the next race. It's also a multi-goal stage where we must conserve fuel and must get up to position five. Okay, well, I've done a few attempts on this, as you can see. First things first, don't worry about the fuel. It looks scary, but the fuel is not moving the same way on this stage as it did on other stages. So, you can push it. So I'm going to get in front of Norris right away and make him push me. And going into corner one here, I want a nice big push. and blocking him a little bit. Wow. And... My goodness, it looks like he totally lost it. Like I should not be getting that much of a gain on him already. So I'm not gonna push it too much as far as overtaking this fellow. Uh, I might draft him for a little bit for some fuel saving as they recommended. But again, I, I did this race a few different times and found out that fuel was never the problem. So the problem is just get yourself up into that fifth position and then you can maintain. So I, I'm going to get a little bit of drafting in off of this fellow. Not much, though. I'm not going to waste a bunch of time here. Again, he's going to drive off. I didn't really want to tap him like that. I should be feathering the throttle more. I thought he was going to be driving out of the exit there better, but he did not. And here I'll set up my overtake. Oops, bump pass. Sorry there. The reason why I don't want to do that is also that that can damage my car. So too much contact is going to lower my speed, lower my grip, um, give me worse acceleration and worse brakes. So you don't want to get into a bunch of contact because you're going to definitely suffer for it in stages like this where you're really having to fight. So here I am, I'm comfortably in fifth place. Charles Leclerc is uh, way up there and I don't need to worry about him. I wouldn't mind catching him to get some draft, but again, Fuel is not an issue on this stage, so you can just relax about the fuel requirement. Well, we'll just be driving out this lap here. I put out these videos as fast as I can, but it takes a while to make them. There's uh, quite a lot of editing that goes into this, so it's not that I finish a race and immediately can just post my progress. Uh, if you take a look, you'll notice that I'm still in that initial three hours of free servicing and instant R&D you get when you start an event. And I started this the second you could start it. So at this point, I'm still within that three hour window, even though this video is coming out quite a while later, but it takes me a while to put out what a, the way I do this. There we go. So that was another fairly easy race. Next race, I will warn you, there is graphic content. This is a very hard race. I probably spent about 45 minutes putting this one together for you. Lots of strategy. For instance, I stay full throttle from here to corner one. That was necessary, and I am maximizing this first corner. Very aggressive overtake here. 
because I need to get on fourth place back end immediately. In fact, you're gonna notice me feathering a little bit. Oh, I didn't have to that time. I need to get a pile of drafting in right now. And I'm not gonna have to worry about Vettel on the back right now, but he'll be a problem very soon. I wanna get the rest of my drafting in now. Let's see, come on, there we go. Now I've gotta start blocking because he's going to be appearing on my bumper, so I cannot necessarily maximize my breaking point because I'm blocking. Now I have to block as I'm heading into this corner just a little bit and get away from him. All right, now I cannot catch third place. Not cleanly. Um, you're gonna see this here. This corner is extremely interesting. Did you know you could stay full throttle here? I didn't. I had to figure that out. Now this is violent. I definitely took him out. There's a problem. Vettel is about to be down there, and I gotta block him. Okay, crash him. Now he's back again. Block, block, bang, bash, boom. Oh my goodness. Very illegal, but I got it done with zero currency spent. I'm really happy with that. And with that, I'd say I've earned a break. Also, my earnings have been maximized for the day, so I will come back later. Thank you for joining me today. Here's a playlist link if you missed anything, and if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe.